Have you ever experienced a floral symphony, a melody of colors, scents, and sounds that takes your breath away? Welcome to the heart of Indonesia, to the island of Flores. This is not just an island, it's a canvas painted with diverse landscapes, from tricolored lakes to traditional villages, from spider-shaped rice fields to the most vibrant array of flora. It's a place where nature's orchestra plays a symphony that is both visually and emotionally captivating. Welcome to Flores, the stage where nature performs its most enchanting symphony. Our symphony begins with the dramatic crescendo of Kelimutu, the volcano with three colored lakes. This natural wonder defies the ordinary, presenting a unique spectacle of three lakes, each with a distinct hue. The colors of the lakes are ever-changing, turning from green to blue to brown to red in an unpredictable rhythm, much like a symphony with its unexpected turns. Local folklore paints a vivid picture of this phenomenon. The people of Flores believe that these lakes are the resting place of departed souls. Each color represents a different group of the deceased, the young, the old, and the sinners, adding a mystic layer to the already awe-inspiring sight. As the sun rises and sets, the colors dance and blend, creating an ever-changing canvas of nature's artistry. As the colors of Kelimutu's lakes shift and change, so does our symphony, leading us to our next movement. From the high peaks of Kelimutu, our symphony takes us to the heart of Flores, where tradition sings its timeless tune. Here, nestled in the verdant valleys and rugged hills, lie the traditional villages that hold the rhythm of Flores's past. Each village, a living museum of Flores culture, is a testament to the island's rich history. Take a moment to marvel at the unique architecture. Grand bamboo huts, their thatched roofs resembling the wings of a bird in flight, stand as symbols of community and harmony. Venture inside, and you'll find intricate weaves and traditional crafts, each telling its own tale of the island's heritage. The air is often filled with the rhythmic beats of traditional dances, an age-old custom that continues to thrive. Dancers clad in vibrant hand-woven textiles move in unison, their steps echoing the stories of their ancestors. As the echoes of the traditional dances fade away, our symphony takes a turn, leading us to the final movement. Our floral symphony concludes with a visual spectacle that is truly unique to Flores, the spider rice fields. These are a testament to the island's vibrant agricultural practices. The fields are laid out in an intricate pattern that mirrors a spider's web, a design that signifies the communal farming system of Flores. Each thread of the web represents a family's plot, and at the center, the communal area, is where all the families come together to work and share. As the seasons change, so too do the spider rice fields. Imagine a painter constantly changing his canvas, from the bright green of fresh young rice in the rainy season to the golden hues of ready-to-harvest grains in the dry season. This ever-changing color palette adds another layer to Flores's vibrant floral symphony. As our symphony comes to a close with the last notes of the spider rice fields, we leave Flores, carrying the melody of its floral symphony in our hearts. And so ends our journey through Flores, a floral symphony that has left us spellbound. We've traversed the tricolored lakes of Kelimutu, each a different hue, whispering tales of the Earth's mysteries. We've wandered through traditional villages, where life hums to the rhythm of age-old traditions. We've marveled at the spider rice fields, their intricate patterns painting a beautiful canvas on the landscape. Every corner of Flores sings a part of this floral symphony, inviting us to experience its enchanting melody over and over again.